Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today I'm going to show you how to draw uh, stairs from a uh, cat drawing from DWG file. So first I'm, I, I quickly draw a, a model these two stairs and I'm going to expo ex export export uh, these to a DWG file. Okay, so save, I'll save it on my desktop. Okay, so now let's I'll delete them and I'll link the D, the cat drawing back back into this file. So this one and okay, okay. So now we have uh we have this cat drawing DWG file uh linked linked into this uh, project. So now let's model uh these two stairs. So first option is we can just use a sketch. Okay, so go to architecture stairs and we would have this option create a sketch. Okay, so this is a more a most straightforward. So because we have these lines, we don't need to worry about uh, what the width is, what the thread is. Um, we just need to uh, uh, create sketch by picking these lines, and um, also uh, actually the the other thing you need to know is you just need to work out in your uh, in your CAD drawing what the level is. Okay, so that's the only thing I think you need to work out first. But once you know that uh, what your uh, the level is, what the you know the starting point and the finish points of the stair is, you can start to model this. So uh, so you go click on this one, sketch, and then so now we have three options: so boundary line riser and stair path so boundary lines so first let's do the boundary line boundary so boundary you can pick boundary by uh, using these lines and also boundary line will be green color okay so once you pick these lines so you will see it's green color um, okay so uh, make sure this one this is not boundary okay so this is not boundary. boundary is only the one on the side on the side of the stairs okay so this one this one just trim trim them just stop here just go here and trim so now these are the boundary okay so now go a uh, riser and then pick line okay so pick these lines and also you will notice that here that's a it will tell you how many riser we need and once you pick all these lines it will tell you uh, there's already 13 riser created and 10 remaining so okay so just continue create all these riser and okay so now um it, it actually tells me uh negative one remaining um I'll leave it for now. I'll, I'll check out. I'll, I'll have a look later. Okay, so now the last one stair path. And this will just, uh, we just need to draw this and we need to be centered. So I'll just draw a line and then from the center point, yep, go trim, trim, and delete this one. And then that's it. And the finish. So now let's go to 3D view. And this is. It uh, actually it looks like it's on uh, it's uh, the opposite direction. So we can just click this one, this one, flip, okay, and finish. So now you will see this is the stair. So we created by using a, a sketch. So using this create sketch and then pick all the line. And it will actually uh, I noticed that so. Uh, it's not perfect. I don't know why. See here and here. Uh, okay, so that's the first option. So let's just um, I'll just move these stairs away for now. Now let's let's uh, use uh, 
another method. Okay, so still go to create. Uh, we need to create stairs, but before that, so this time I'm going to just check, have a look of the dimension of this stair. So now I know that uh, it's twelve hundred. 1200, 1200, and also uh, just uh, it's 280, 280. Okay, so now this time instead of use that sketch, create sketch, I'm going to use these. Okay, so I will click on run. So usually you will, yes, we will start with this run and go have a look here. So actual trade depth 280, yes, that's uh, it's matching this. So which is good and have a look at here so actual run uh, race so we need to change this to 1200 right and also uh, sometimes when um, it will be center by default it, it will be centered and sometimes it's a little bit hard to, to pick the center when you create when you're trying to create this stair so it's easier to pick so either left or right so if I pick left and start around I can start from here so I'll show you so and then because it's 280 match this uh, DWG file so I'll stop here stop here okay so this is the first round okay and then the second one because this is a landing so if you use this one it will automatically create a landing for you so we just need to go to this point and drag go back go this way so here and that's it okay so and then finish so this uh this stair and i'll delete the rating and you will see it so it's 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 better so they are exactly the same not exactly the same but exactly the same type but one this one's created using the sketch this one's using the um, just uh, the the default the, the um, what's this called wrong just wrong landing um, uh, thing <laughs> um, and you will notice that it's this one's better because this is it's all perfect not like this one okay so and <clears throat> okay so um let's 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 try another one here okay so let's have, uh so this one first met us first i'm going to use sketch okay so sketch so go uh create sketch and first boundary so i'll pick line so i start from here boundary right and here boundary and here boundary so and then just trim and okay so and then riser okay I'll pick line oops okay so just and now a uh, stair path from this here to you can try to you can click on the shift click on the shift and it will make it uh, go you can try to see you can pick the middle line here so you don't need to draw another but once again press a uh, shift and try to pick the middle line yep oh sorry middle point yeah that's it and finish it and let's have a look in 3d view yeah that's good the direction is correct so we don't need to flip it and then you can finish it okay so let, let me just delete the rating and i think this one's okay so it's not broke uh, uh hell looks like something's not right here see uh anyway let's try the the other method okay so i'll move this oops i'll move this uh I'll move this up. Okay, so now this this time, so I'll just uh, investigate this stairs. Two eighty, one meter wide, one meter wide, one meter wide. Good. So now we can just create it. So stairs, uh, two eighty, which is correct, and 
change that to one meter wide. And this time I'm going to use right. Okay, so run right. So stop uh, here. And then the second one start here, stop here, and the last one start. So, and then stop here. So, and then finish. So, now let's go to 3D view. So, this deletes the railing. Yeah, so it looks like this one's better. So, you will see. Um, I think, let me just have a try. So, uh, why it's, I'll see if it's, I can fix it. So, I'll edit this uh, stairs. So, you will see. Because it's created by sketch, you won't be able to, there's nothing you can adjust it. You can't adjust them. So for example, I'll move this, uh, these uh, treads a little bit up, but you can't do it. You have to do use edit sketch. You have to use this. And then you have to manually, so for example, you need to, to move this up manually. Okay, so let me control Z. So um, now I'm going to have a test and see if I can fix that. So what I'm going to do is I'll just drag this back. So instead of have the whole length, I'll see if I can, uh, if, if this will make a difference. Okay, so I'm not sure, but uh, I just want to have a try. So instead of have all these, uh, uh, continuous uh, boundary so I'll stop at this uh, the landings so I'll break the boundary at so for example you can just split them and, and stop here same you can sp split them stop here oops sorry what's, what's going on here okay so now if I select this then uh, these boundary lines breaks at uh, the landing. I'll see if it will make a difference or not. So let's have a look in 3D view. Um, um, I think it's better. I'll finish. Are they better? Yeah, previously I think that's something broken here, but this time it's more close to this. Um, I think it's close to this one, but still there's something interesting, uh, funny things happening here. But anyway, um, so I recommend, I will recommend if you can, do not use sketch do not use sketch if you can use because I'll show you why so if you select this stairs and edit stairs so we create you will see it you can uh, it tells you the number and also you will be able to very easily so see you can click on one oh so for example you can move this a little bit further and you can move it this way and you can move this one as well and maybe move to that way so you can increase the width you can uh, reduce the width uh, that's that's no that's minimum that one minute that uh, increase the width you can you can adjust the steps very fle um, flexible okay so if you can just use always use uh, choose if you can use this always use this in, in uh, sketch is not very flexible and also uh, quite easily you will have uh, something this like this okay so I'll, hang on, let me just have a test again so see if I can fix this so select this one edit sketch so I'll just go to floor plan again I'll see if I can just I'll, if I break uh, break break the boundary line at this landing and see if I um, which will I'll see if it can fix it okay so now it's all it, it breaks yep so finish and let's have a look in 3d view yep I think it's better but still you will see this line I don't know why uh, that's a long day but uh, compared to the the one 
the, the one uh, the previous one I think it's better okay so um, that's that's it for today um, if you have any question please let me know I'll see you next time bye